day. Um, what I'm going to do today is try and show you how to powder coat your own eyes. Um, so you can see this one here. It's got the powder coat on one side. So I use these for, so that's the original eye. Uh, so nothing on it. Uh, these are just brass eyes, they're black, but um, I use these for bass vampires and stuff where you don't actually need a pupil. So they're, um, they're a really good weight and a good size. So what I'm using is um, this stuff, it's called Protect Powder Paint. Tywell used to distribute it here in Australia, but Tywell's gone now. But I know you can still buy Protect Paint. I think it's um, by CS um, Paints. They do a lot of lure paint and um, you know vinyl paint and that sort of stuff. So what you're going to need to do it is obviously the powder, um, a heat source. So in this case, I'm just going to use the this heat gun because it works really well, does it really quickly. Um, you're going to need some forceps, um, just your normal ones that you might use for removing hooks and stuff from uh, fish. I use two pairs and I'll show you why as we go through because um, you, you need to be swapping because uh, this stuff gets friggin' hot and I'm telling you it gets hot. So I always have a spray bottle full of water just in case. You'll see there what, what the eyes that I've done are actually on a wet sponge. <clears throat> so I let them cool a little bit and then I drop them onto the wet sponge because if you drop them onto your bench, you're going to burn your bench. Um, so I'm actually in the garage. I'm not inside my tying bench. I'm trying to trying to do this because, first of all, the powder is messy if you spill it. Um, but, you know, also you don't want to be ruining your furniture inside. All right, so first things first, you, um, you need to load up some dumbbell eyes just into your forceps and you want to get it right between the two eyes and this is why I use forceps so if I can position that where you can actually see it there we go um, so that's where you want them sitting so you can get both sides of the eye all right then the next step is and I'm going to try and do this is going to be hard because um, I've only got one hand get that over the heat source on one side at a time all right so don't overheat it all right that's enough probably uh, and then dip it in and you'll see it's got stuff on it and then back over the heat source just quickly and that will melt and then set um, set it so if you have a look at that now it's done ready to go for the other side so you just repeat that on the other side. Then what I do is I lay them down, still in the forceps. Um, and then that's why I use two pairs because it's damn sight quicker than waiting for it to cool down. And that's it. Once that's done, it's as hard as a rock, um, ready to tie. So if you get too much on, you'll see there I've got a file. So always, you can always file it back off and do it again. So if you overdo it and you end up with daggy bits all over the sides of your, your eyes, just file it off redo it under the heat um it's yeah it's an easy way to to color up the eyes you can get it in a whole lot of colors i've got chartreuse here i've done some in glow in the dark white and i've got an orange and they're the colors i use most of the time um, you can also use it for um you know bead chain and you know, that sort of stuff as well so if you want colored bead chain do the same thing okay that's it cheers guys